Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Palomino HS2901. This camper is compatible on a three quarter ton or one ton truck with a six and a half or an eight foot bed. As we get started on the outside, you'll notice we have the cool gray, high gloss gel coated fiberglass. We have this power awning over the back entrance door here. It has the built in lights on the sides as well. Full size entrance door that also includes a screen door and an integrated window as well. We have the oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. Down below, we have the Max Series bumper, which we're gonna gain storage underneath on both sides. That would be considered like wet storage. Anything you put in there will get wet. So great for water hoses and sewer hoses. Down below, we have your dump cables for your black and gray tank. We have a porch light. It is also prepped for an observation camera. You can add that camera to it any point in time so you can see behind you the entire time while you're traveling down the road. As we move over to the side here, it is equipped with the power jacks. This is the remote that'll come with it. You can run each jack individually, or you can run them all at the same time as well. It is equipped with a 30-pound 30, 30 propane tank that will be filled by the Outpost RV. Down below here is your dump station. So that is where when you pull your gray and black handle, it will empty out right down below there. Also equipped with an outside shower with hot and cold water here. It is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Cable satellite connection and 110 outlets out here. So if your campground offers that, you can tap right into it. We have your on-demand water heater, which is a tankless system. It is gas only, but way more efficient than what we've used in the past. So you're only using gas when you're running hot water. And up front here, we have your water fill station. On the right-hand side is the city water. So if you're at a campground, you hook your water hose up right here and that'll pressurize your lines. If you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up the fresh water tank, turn on your water pump and use that water from your fresh water tank. As we move to the front section up here, you'll notice up front, there's gonna be a blue light on the front cap. And this is simply an on off switch for that blue light. Red key is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to your battery. So when the camper's not in use, you can flip that off to keep your battery from dying. Over here is a holder for your seven way cord. When it's not in use, you can just hang it right up here. And we also have a direct line, charge line to the battery. So if you wanted to alligator clip a battery charger on here, you could do that as well. And it is equipped with a double sided seven way male cord. It'll plug in right here. The cord will run all the way back to the back of your truck and plug in right there as well. While we're up front here, I wanted to point out that this camper is equipped with a Renogy 100 amp hour lithium battery. There is also 400 watts of solar up top on the roof already mounted there. As we take a look at the front end, you'll notice the fiberglass cap. We have the hard shell lining on the outside, that blue LED accent light, and of course the windshield up front. I do call it a windshield, it does not open, but there is a shade inside, so it will let light in for you as well. We have the deep tinted frameless windows. Over here, we have another power awning with the LED accent light underneath it. Each leg is adjustable as well for the awning here. Up top, we have outside speakers that light up blue. Furnace vent, this will just be an access panel for your 12 volt refrigerator. And last but not least, if you have a short bed truck, you can close this area off for extra storage outside. That'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Palomino HS2901. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the storage compartments back here. We do have the large double door 12 volt refrigerator and the bathroom on the left hand side. We have this nice L shaped dinette area with the table and the pole for that actually has a nice swivel mount on it and we'll take a look at that here in just a second get a nice overview of the camper the kitchen area here and then we'll go ahead and get started right back here so there was extra white led lights you'll notice as we walked in and i'll point those out again but there is a dimmer switch for those so you can make those brighter or tone them down as well. We have your main control panel here. You can see how full your tanks are. Turn on your water pump. There are 12 volt heating pads on your holding tanks. You can turn that on and off here as well. Run your awnings in and out, and also turn your lights on and off. 
On the right hand side, we have a digital thermostat that will be for your water heater, the on demand water heater to turn that on and off and adjust the temperature. And on the left hand side, we have your thermostat for the furnace. Down below on the left hand side, we have your CO2 detector, then your breakers and fuses, a couple storage drawers there. We'll open up this cabinet up top. You'll notice there's adjustable shelving and you can also remove those and use this as a hanging compartment as well. Over here in the kitchen area, we have your microwave with the range vent that will vent to the outside. Decorative backsplash, three burner stove top with the glass cover. So you can use that as prep space as well. We have the oven down below and of course more storage underneath that. And if we go to the right here a little bit, underneath this step going up to the bed, that is gonna be your solar controller, since we have that 400 watts of solar up top already. And they do have another 110 outlet over here on the right-hand side. Underneath the kitchen sink, we have some storage here. Really large single bowl sink that also comes with this cover. So you can utilize that as a drying rack or more prep space as well. We have the high-rise faucet with the pull-out sprayer. Nice kitchen window here. We're gonna have a couple storage cabinets up above. The TV is included as well. That is a 12 volt TV. We have your stereo, which is AM FM and Bluetooth compatible. And it is also a DVD player. Right underneath that, we have this storage compartment that will lift up. So if you have any CDs or DVDs, you can hide those right underneath there. Up in the bedroom area, this is going to be a queen mattress. It is a residential size queen mattress, an actual 60 by 80. Up top, we have your large vent fan with multiple speeds, couple speakers up top. Over here on the left-hand side, you get a window, some storage right beside the bed. Up top with the headboard, you're gonna get 110 outlets and 12 volt charge ports on both sides. Some open storage at the head of the bed there. There is the windshield. We have the blind pulled on that currently. Over here on the right hand side, get those the 12 volt charge port and 110 outlet, another window, another foot locker storage area. And over here to the right with this double door, this is going to be hanging storage. And I will open this up for you. So you'll notice we have the rod up top and that goes through on both sides. And there is also a panel at the bottom that will lift up and there is also more storage down below there. As we come down and take a look at the table here, lots of seating at the table. You can see the nice L shape with this new pedestal that they're using. This table can go in many different positions. You can swing it out of the way. If you wanted to, you can swing it over for more prep space in the kitchen as well. It can really go in many different positions here. Underneath, there is going to be a section that will pull out and you can turn this into another sleeping area. You'll see the three legs there. Underneath that cushion, it pulls out and the cushions will fill in to make another sleeping area for you. Up top, we have this large window right above the dinette. And then also back here, you're gonna have a couple more speakers up on the ceiling as well as your air conditioner and you'll notice right up top here is going to be one of those speakers and then here is a look at the air conditioner as well it'll have your controls right up top and there's another speaker just to the left of that as we spin around here we're going to take a look at the refrigerator this is a 12 volt fridge which is why we have the lithium battery and the 400 watts of solar mounted on the camper already. So what's unique with this fridge is it can actually open on both sides. You can open it right here, or as you open up the entrance door from the other side, but you'll notice it's nice and deep, lots of storage in here. The 12 volt refrigerator is actually deeper than the older gas electric style that we've used in the past. And down below, we're gonna have your furnace underneath that. Some more open storage. 
And then of course we have those two storage cabinets in the back here. Straight ahead with the entrance door. You can open that blind, let some sunlight in. And then down at the very bottom right, you'll notice we have the controller there. There is Velcro on the wall to keep that in place. Sliding door for the wet bath. And we will open that up here. It has a latch and also a magnet to hold that in place. Down below, we have your toilet area. There is also this black cover. So that way you could take that out. And if somebody just showered, you could put that in here to keep your feet dry. Storage compartment for your toiletries. We have a couple 110 outlets here. Lots of counter space. Of course, we have your water source, which will also be used for the shower head. Medicine cabinet up top here. We're gonna have a vent as well as that light off to the left-hand side. We have a skylight up top. There are also curtains on both sides that you can pull to keep the water in when taking a shower. And then up front here, we have the shower head as well. And that will complete our walkthrough of the Palomino HS2901. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.